More experiments with a simple crystal oscillator, this time something for the FM end of the 2 meter band. A pleasant rainy day project is to go through your crystals and multiply them to see what frequencies are possible from them. Some crystal frequencies come up over and over again. For example, 18.432 megahertz. Keep pressing equals to get various multiples. This one is promising, 147.456 MHz, within the 2 meter amateur band, at least in Australia and North America. For those who don't remember, this is our crystal oscillator circuit. It's only an oscillator, not a frequency multiplier. There will be multiples of the crystal's frequency appearing at the output, but they'll be with a lot of other multiples. So if you want serious use, then you need filtering and then multiplication. I'm using an 18.432 MHz crystal, but if you have one for 16.384, then that will work as well. That multiplies up to the same 2 meter frequency as the 18 MHz crystal. The only difference is that one is times 8, the other is times 9. Without a series capacitor, it's multiplying up to just above 147.4. With 15 picofarad in series, the frequency rises up to 147.475. That's a pulling range of over 70 kilohertz. By the way, if you don't have an FT817, you can use a cheap handheld to find the harmonic of the crystal frequency. Set it in VFO or free tuning mode and have the channel steps as close as possible. Preferably five kilohertz or less if that step is available. This is the same oscillator I had before, but I've redrawn it to be part of a larger circuit. That extra circuit is a frequency modulator that shifts the frequency of the crystal a kilohertz or so in sympathy with the applied audio from this electric microphone. That permits FM transmission. The frequency modulation stage uses a single PNP transistor and a few other components. The most important setting is the 50k potentiometer. Depending on how it's set, you'll get no audio coming through, excessive audio, distorted audio, or audio that's just right. There's also some interaction with the transmit frequency. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. As you can hear, the transmit audio is quite readable. There is, however, no limiting. Therefore, it's easy to over-deviate if you speak too loudly. One, two, three, four, five. Holy. To make this into a practical two meter FM transmitter, you do need to add some RF filtering and several stages of frequency multiplication. In this case, times two, times two, and another times two, to give you two to the power of three, or a multiplication of eight, which is suitable when multiplying 18 up to 144 megahertz. Alternatively, for short range experiments, you could not bother with a frequency multiplier and just connect some tuned circuits resonant on 144 megahertz directly to the output of this crystal oscillator.